16. We 16? just decorated my dad's 16, door. Right? 15? 16. I don't know. 16? What day is it? 16. We just decorated daddy's door and he loves it. <laughs> no? Okay. 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 <laughs> Me and my mother are going to Walmart to get supplies before lockdown. And then I have to go back to work. It's yellow day. So I'm a banana? Yeah, that's about what's happening in this household. Do a dance for us. What's in your pipe? I, crack. Crack cocaine. It's crack. crack. Dad, it's crack. Wait, can you smoke crack cocaine? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, there you go. I don't do drugs, I don't know. And this is our naive <laughs> I don't do daughter. Or, for all you know, I'm actually very into nice drugs. Play, and nice I play. pretend that I don't know. See? Crackhead. Yeah, but when the door is open, you can look at it. Do you love it? I love it. <laughs> hey, Mom, what are we doing? Superstore once again. Yay! So I got presents from work today, and Mom decides that she's going to open them. So you already opened anymore. them, so go for okay, it. What good. did I get? This is from Sienna. Cece. Sienna. You don't like those. I love those. Thank you. It's from Lauren. That's pretty. Yes. Um, oh, and Cece's mom wrote Miss J M R S, and she told my supervisor, "I know that it's M I S S, so do you think she'll be offended?" <laughs> and I was like, uh, "Yes, I don't need no man. I am independent. It's 2020, but I'm not offended. It's okay." From um, Ellen, Lauren, Heather, Elin. and Lucio. Elin. Elin is. Oh, Elin. okay. That's her sister. Oh, the Starbucks. So the Starbucks card. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Apparently it's breakable, so be careful. This is breakable. Apparently. Okay. More chocolate. Mm. This is the breakable thing. Yeah. Maybe it's a cookie or something. Because I don't work anymore. I don't get presents at work. So you open my presents. So I'll open your presents. I think that that's fair, don't you? Oh, yeah. That You've never let me open your presents, but that's fine. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes. No, you didn't. I did. Liar. And then you would eat a lot of them. What is it? It's an ornament. This ornament was made for you by Elin and Lauren. Aww. I'll put it on my tree right now. Right here. Beautiful. Oh, it's hard. Yeah. Oh, it's like one of those rock candy things. Is it rock candy things? I think so. That's cool. Pretty. And then my supervisors got me a pasta making kit, so dad's getting it for Christmas. You're welcome. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Can you two shut up? Are you arguing? Thank you. Can, can you? Shh. Who? Dad. Love, Jay. This was totally not regifted. He'll never know. Today at work was a really bad day yet again and I just spent the last half an hour crying to my parents about how miserable I am at my job right now. Basically the whole situation is that we had ministry come in last Wednesday and we messed up by not marking in one of the kids on the attendance on time and then when they asked us how many kids we had we said 13 but 
we only had 12 marked in on the attendance so it was like a big deal and like non-compliance blah 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 so our like head boss honcho lady came in today and asked us what happened and the girl that I worked with basically blamed it all on me and said that it was my fault because I do the attendance which the only reason I do the attendance is because if I don't do it then it doesn't get done but that night she wasn't with our group at all I had another girl with me and she did the attendance but basically this girl blamed me for everything and then threw me under the bus and I wasn't gonna throw the other girl under the bus and be like well actually it was her so I was just like okay cool but I'm just like so fed up because the whole time she always tells me that like I can't do anything because I don't have my EC diploma and so I can't be left alone with the kids but then she'll leave me for like 20 minutes to go talk to one of the other employees because they're friends they just drive me crazy there like they're just so rude and I just <sighs> I'm like one of those people who don't want to deal with the drama so anytime there's drama in the workplace I'm just like I'm Switzerland I'm not dealing with it that's not me keep me out of it but they're always constantly trying to bring me into it I don't want to be a part of it I don't like it it like I just get too anxious and I just I don't want to deal with it so I just had like a crying attack for the last 20 minutes but I just can't there's only two more days and then I get two weeks off and then another thing is that I told the supervisor that I was going back to school in January and that on Monday nights I'm trying to work something out with my profs because I have class from 3 to 6 but I'm trying to work it out so that I can not have to attend because it's all online and if I can't work something out like do I need to quit or can I still work the Monday morning and Tuesday to Friday all day and she was like well you know the only reason you're here is because we needed help with one of the children because like she's autistic and like she needs a lot of extra attention so like by having two people in the room it's a lot of help and I was just like okay but like she's here three out of the five days so I would still be helping like I don't understand but she was like well technically the numbers are okay without you and I'm like okay so clearly I'm just like not really important in this corporation awesome love that but it's just like they're always asking for help with at other centers so like what's the difference like I just I feel so underappreciated and I'm just like done I just want to be done but I need the money and I would rather keep working because I love these kids they're like the sweetest little beans in the entire world and if I can't work with them I'll be really upset but it's just like so much stress and I just nobody cares but I needed to rant so I'm sorry that I've been ranting for two vlogmas videos in a row but it's been rough <laughs> say goodbye to vlogmas are you talking to me yes well, can now you, you even can't see, see anything? anything so now I'm just the mystery voice yes all right vlogmas good night